hello beautiful people listening to Irma. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this very interesting video from charlie kirk together let's check it out do you feel uh proud of yourself for debating college kids um who are unprepared to speak in front of an audience like yourself uh, uh hold on hold on hold on um you're 30 years old we we can agree you're 30 years old right do you think that's a little bit silly are you a voter I am a voter. I'm oh, a so voter. I vote and you vote. So I'm talking to voters of this country that will determine the future of Western civilization. That's what I'm doing here today. Yeah? Wait, hold on. How is it any different than a professor talking to you? Than a professor talking to you? Who, who are you? Well, enough, important enough for you to come up to a microphone. Actually, when I first saw this ad, I thought it was like, a, like an improv comedy thing. It looked so ridiculous that I didn't even think it was real. Um, well, no, you can see. Look how popular Trump is on your campus. How does that make you feel? Yeah. That, that, that's not comedy. That, that is a five-alarm fire for Kamala Harris because she's probably going to lose Pennsylvania. Look. But no, I just want to be clear. Is there something wrong with talking to voters? No, there's nothing wrong with talking to voters. Well, that's what voters. we're doing here today. It's an open I mic. I think that you push a dangerous agenda. Such as? Why do these liberals always think that when somebody says something they don't like or somebody is doing something they don't like, you hear them say, oh, it's dangerous. Why do they always get so aggressive? That's what I'm trying to like wrap my head because it's not making sense. Because I understand, yeah, we live in a society where people want to cancel other people for thinking differently from them what, I mean? what is the point why are they always so aggressive your stance on uh ab your stance on uh abortion rights for example here we go okay so, so let, me, let me ask a question what is what is your name gene gene and what is your understanding of the current republican party's stance on federal intervention in abortion well, I know that they want to bring it back to the states, right? So, so, the, so it sounds like you do know that the Republican Party's current stance on abortion is they're against a federal ban on abortion. I do understand. And we're talking that, about a yes. presidential election as the yes. important election that we're talking about here. I understand that. Yes. Great. So again, I, I think this open dialogue is great. I think it's great you're here challenging Charlie, and I think it's great that he's willing to travel campuses across this country to talk to the next generation. We need more conversation. Now, where's the disagreement, though, on content? Because you could criticize style or why you're talking to people Listen, or dunk on someone personally, but where do you actually disagree with I the agree substance? I agree with the way that you edit content and specifically frame it so that people look bad talking to you. You, the way that you edit your content. We post unedited content. Let, let me just let me just ask you one thing, though, because we could, you could personal personal insults can fly in all directions. Where is an area where you have a disagreement with the conservative movement, with Donald Trump, with Charlie Kirk, perhaps with myself? I was a presidential candidate last year. I think we need to talk about that more in the open. And the more we do, the stronger our country is going to be. we got a long line of people, but I want to hear from you one substantive area where you have an authentic disagreement. And I'd be glad to address it. I'm sure Charlie would, too. Just in any... Anything. Any relating, political... Relating to any political topic where you have a disagreement. Let's air it. Okay. Um, I disagree with uh, the some of the uh, laws that are being pushed in Congress um, that are against the LGBTQ community and the trans community. Okay, so let's talk about that. I'm going to give you my view, and then I want to hear yours. Okay. My view is that if you're a fully grown adult, 18 or above, you're free to live how you want, dress how you want, mm -hmm. marry who you want, if you want. If okay. you're over the age of 18. I agree. But you are not free to indoctrinate children in schools who are not yet of the age of consent. You are not free, just as you're a 17-year-old or a 15-year-old can't get a tattoo on their own, I don't think that you should be able to go or until the age of 18. Exactly. So they know the right thing to do. They know what is right. But the fact that they want their own ideology as the ultimate over others is what is not making sense.
And once you don't agree with them, it becomes a problem. Why is it so? Why do they want their ideology to be the ultimate and everybody you think like them? Why is that? We are allowed to agree to disagree. Hold an honest conversation between both, regardless of how you want to say it. You don't have to be left or right. Just hold an honest conversation and you have the right to your opinion without thinking your opinion supersedes others. But I mean, these people would always, as long as they don't agree with yours, they're going to cancel you. Or be aggressive or attack you. Why is that? And so the lines that I draw here is that men are free to claim to be women and swim in swimming pools. You're not free to cr claim trophies in a women's sports competition. You're not free to enter a women's locker room. You're not free to change a language. And you're not free to actually indoctrinate our children who are under the age of five in schools. Do we agree on the fact that adults should be able to live freely while still treating children differently? If so, we're on the same side of this issue. Listen, I agree with the majority of what you said. However, I, I don't think that you're understanding the, um, the implications of the laws that are trying to be passed. Look, we got a head start in the conversation. We got a long line behind you. But my only ask is forget the personal attacks or the stylistic attacks. Focus on substance. The more we debate that, the stronger we're going to be as a country. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I don't think you're focusing on substance, though. That's the issue. Oh, oh, hold on. Look, he, he intentionally tried to provoke substance out of you. And you said, well, I'm worried about some laws Congress should pass. I have to ask, what laws are you talking about? Did she just Can you be specific? I'm sorry, I'm very nervous. But uh, this is what you do. This okay. is what you do. You take people and you put them under the spotlight and you... Well, hold on. I, I, didn't, I didn't ask or you to come up here. You voluntarily came to the front of the line. You didn't have to do that. You're purposely antagonizing people on campus. Asking How? people to come up by spreading your weird agenda. How? What, what agenda is that? I, I'm confused, though. So, Charlie, I'll, I'll say this. We'll, we'll, we'll end on this and we'll go to the next question. When I was 18, and I'm not going to blame you for this, I also took for granted a lot of the stuff that the media force fed me, because that's what you know at the age of 18. You say there are some vague laws making their way through Congress that are hostile to the trans you community. Know how, I don't think those do laws actually about, exist, but I don't blame you if that's me. what the cable media is feeding you. <laughs> But let's get to the specifics, and then we're able to actually have an open dialogue. And that's one of the things I've learned over the last 20 years. I think that the issue is, is we're getting our media from different country. sources. Both people are getting media from these skewed sources. The facts that you're presenting are not always correct. And that's why we're here with no TV screens between us. So people who have policy-based substantive disagreements, we invite those. I think that's how we're going to get our country back. And as it relates to trans, which you brought up, 18 or above, you're free to live how you want. You're not free to force that onto somebody else, or especially kids. And if we agree on Thank that, you we very make much. some progress. Thank, Thank you. you. Disagreements, yeah. So the fact that she said their fact is not correct, but her fact is correct, is what is not making sense. And this is the thing. The mainstream media brainwash people. It's common practice. It's common what we see. They brainwash people to think what they want people to think without letting people think the truth. And as long as you don't agree with the mainstream media's ideology of how things are supposed to go because, I mean, they're being controlled by some people or some group of people. As long as you don't agree with that ideology, then it becomes a problem. Then they look for ways to say, oh, you're cancelled or whatever. Can we also agree that we need to bring back shame? Because did she just flash her? Self. because it's not making sense correct me if i'm wrong because we need to bring back shame but let's also agree that yeah the mainstream media control or push a certain narrative to control people to think the exact same way we can't obviously think alike that's why we're human beings will have different thoughts or different ideas and everybody cannot think the same. That's why they group people or put people in groupies. Because that is the only way they can control people. 
which is not making sense they don't want you to think freely for yourself they don't want you to do things freely they want you to always be angry and look at somebody or they want to choose who your enemy is going to be why is that but again if people can agree that obviously you can uh, have your thoughts of opinion without thinking that your thoughts should be forced upon other people who can coexist in the society but let me know what you think about this so far i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i would really love you to share that and share other useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video